Well hey guys and welcome to the 500 subscriber special video and firstly I want to say thank you to all you guys for subscribing to the channel and watching my videos and giving me all the positive feedback that I've got so far you know it's, it's just great you know what I'm getting back off you and what I'm trying to give you with my videos um, now probably a lot of you guys are looking at this car that I'm sitting on an MGB and thinking Steve you're a Triumph owner what are you doing sitting on an MGB well a few months back me and my cousin who's no doubt going to say hello to the camera there we go there's his hand um, got offered this car for peanuts it had a seized engine and it hadn't been on the road for eight years and we saw it as a bit of a challenge to get this car on the road to go to Sirewell so if you guys have watched the Sirewell video you would have seen this following my TR6 and we did that so that was great so we've got a long term project with this car you know we've got it as hashtag 67GT and you'll see that page on Facebook which you know if you look for it hashtag 67GT and I'll be posting some links on my Instagram channel as hashtag 67GT and that'll show some progress on this car as it goes so as I said we got this car with a seized engine and the first thing we did was we just put the car on a slope rocked it backwards and forwards in gear and eventually the engine would crack and turn over the piston started moving so we thought right okay let's put a battery on it see if we can get it going and put a new battery on it will turn it over okay but nothing else it wasn't starting up you know even with fresh fuel with it it just wasn't starting up so the first thing we did check to see if we get a spark so we wasn't getting a spark yeah, we put a dead plug on it, straight to earth, no spark, new set points, new condenser, yeah, we put a new coil pack on just to make sure it wasn't a coil, and then we was getting spark, that was great, but it still wasn't going. So obviously we've got a spark, and obviously with a car you need three things to work, you need air around you, you need a spark, you need compression, you need fuel, so that's four things. So, we wasn't getting fuel up to the engine. Now with the MGBs, they normally make a nice ticking noise, which is the fuel pump working when you've got the ignition turned on. We wasn't getting any of that. So what I decided to do was take the fuel pump off and clean up the points, because on these MGBs, the fuel pump's underneath here. And what you can do is just clean up the points on them and get them to go. So I did that, put it all back together, and then turned on the ignition, and great, fuel was coming up to the carburetors. So we were getting fuel, we were getting obviously air, lots of air around us, we were getting a spark, but it still wasn't having it. So we thought, right, let's do a compression test. And we were getting good compression on one, but we weren't getting anything on two, three, but we were getting compression on four. So logic dictates, that's a blown head gasket. Was that the reason this car was laid up? Well, we thought, we've got nothing to lose, you know, it cost about £20 for a head gasket set. Let's do the head gasket. We've done that, put it back together, still wasn't happening. Gave it another compression test, still down on turn three. So the only thing that can be is either worn valves or piston rings. So at this stage, we thought, right, sod it. Let's take the whole engine completely to bits and have a look at everything. So we took it to bits, took all the valves out, reground them and seat them nicely took the pistons out and the rings on turn three were knackered absolutely knackered and the top rings on one and and four were knackered as well so we got a set of new rings put it all together put the engine back together brilliant compression across everything we're now getting fuel compression spark and obviously lots of air around us still didn't want to know so great compression Spark, fuel, still not starting. There's only one other thing it can be. The engine wasn't turning over fast enough. So we looked at this little baby down here, or the original one, which was an inertia starter motor. And we thought, well, we're gonna upgrade it to a high torque one anyway. So 200 and odd pound for a new high torque starter motor, put that on, turned it over, fired up into life. First time in eight years. She's a living machine again.
So, I know I could have done a fair bit of filming with this car to show you guys on YouTube, but me and my cousin between July and September were so hell-bent about getting this car to Sirewell that we just, just didn't have time to do any film footage to it. So, we're going to try doing a few videos here and there with it, but other than that, I mean, by all means, have a look on Facebook and have a look at all the rebuilt work that the cousins put on the Facebook page and that's hashtag 67GT and like I said I'm gonna be from now on doing a few videos here and there on it my cousin's gonna do his best to update the Facebook page and it'll hopefully go on Instagram so I'd like to say finally a big thank you to all the 500 subscribers so far that have made this channel so good here's to the next 500 subscribers and to many more things to come. Anyway, you guys take care. See you in the next video.